attitude towards baptism, free grace, views baptism as a symbolic act of obedience and identification with Christ, but not necessary for salvation. Protestantism, views on baptism vary with some practicing believers baptism as a public declaration of faith and others practicing infant baptism as a sign of covenant inclusion. Understanding of communion, free grace, generally sees communion as a symbolic remembrance of Christ's sacrifice and believers' ongoing union with him. Protestantism, views on communion range from symbolic to sacramental, with some denominations emphasizing the real presence of Christ in the elements. View of the church, free grace, emphasizes the universal church comprised of all believers with less emphasis on denominational structures. Protestantism values the local church as a community of believers with varying degrees of emphasis on denominational identity and structure. Concept of eternal security. Free grace teaches the doctrine of eternal security, affirming that true believers cannot lose their salvation once genuinely saved. Protestantism views on eternal security vary with some denominations affirming it, particularly Calvinist traditions, and others holding to the possibility of apostasy. Role of repentance, free grace, views, repentance as a change of mind or turning to God, necessary for salvation, but distinct from good works or behavior change. Protestantism emphasizes repentance as genuine sorrow for sin and a turning towards God, often seen as evidence of true faith and a necessary part of salvation. View of election, free grace, may hold differing views on election, but generally affirms that God desires the salvation of all, and that election is based on God's foreknowledge of those who will believe. Protestantism, views on election vary, with some denominations emphasizing unconditional election, particularly Calvinist traditions, and others emphasizing conditional election based on foreseen faith. Understanding of grace, free grace, places a strong emphasis on the grace of God as the basis for salvation, emphasizing that it is unmerited and freely given to believers. Protestantism also emphasizes the grace of God as central to salvation, viewing it as the unearned favor and mercy of God towards sinners. View of works, Free grace considers good works as the result of salvation, but not a condition for obtaining or maintaining it. Protestantism generally agrees that good works are evidence of genuine faith, although the degree to which they contribute to salvation may vary among different Protestant traditions. Role of the law, free grace, teaches that believers are not under the Mosaic law as a means of righteousness or salvation, but are under the law of Christ, which is fulfilled through love. Protestantism. Views on the role of the law may vary, with some emphasizing its moral guidance for believers and others emphasizing its fulfillment in Christ. View of sin and redemption, free grace. Views sin as forgiven and redeemed through Christ's sacrifice, with believers declared righteous before God by faith alone. Protestantism also teaches redemption through Christ's sacrifice, but may differ in emphasis on the ongoing need for repentance and sanctification in the believer view of salvation. Free grace emphasizes salvation as a free gift of God's grace received solely through faith in Jesus Christ without any works contributing to one's salvation. Protestantism believes in salvation by grace through faith in Jesus Christ but may vary in the degree to which works play a role in salvation, often emphasizing faith as the primary requirement. Assurance of salvation. Free grace teaches the assurance of salvation, emphasizing that once a person is saved, they are eternally secure in their relationship with God. Protestantism views assurance of salvation as attainable but may vary in how it is obtained, with some denominations emphasizing ongoing faithfulness and good works as evidence of true faith. Interpretation of faith, free grace, defines faith as complete trust in Jesus Christ alone for salvation, apart from any human effort or merit. Protestantism, 
also emphasizes faith as central to salvation, typically understood as personal trust in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. View of predestination, free grace. May hold various views on predestination, but generally affirms that God desires the salvation of all and that salvation is available to anyone who believes. Protestantism. Views on predestination vary widely among Protestant denominations, with some affirming unconditional election and others emphasizing human free will and God's foreknowledge. Understanding of sanctification. Free grace teaches that sanctification is the ongoing process of becoming more like Christ, enabled by the Holy Spirit's work in the believer's life. Protestantism affirms the importance of sanctification as the Holy Spirit's work in the believer's life, often involving growth in Christian character and obedience to God's word. View of the atonement, free grace, generally emphasizes a universal atonement, teaching that Christ's death was sufficient to pay for the sins of all humanity, but effective only for those who believe. Protestantism. Views on the atonement vary, with some emphasizing a particular atonement, limited or unlimited, and others emphasizing the sufficiency of Christ's sacrifice for salvation. Free grace theology emerged within Protestant Christianity, particularly within certain evangelical and reformed circles during the 20th century. While it doesn't have a single founder or precise founding date, theologians such as Zane Hodges, Charles C. Ryrie, and Louis Sperry Chafer are often associated with the development and promotion of free grace theology. The key ideas of free grace theology emphasizing salvation by grace through faith alone and the assurance of eternal security have roots in the Protestant Reformation and the writings of theologians like Martin Luther and John Calvin. Protestantism. Protestantism originated in the 16th century as a movement protesting against certain practices and doctrines of the Roman Catholic Church. The traditional starting point of the Protestant Reformation is often considered to be Martin Luther's posting of the 95 Theses in 1517, which challenged the Catholic Church's teachings on indulgences. Other key figures in the Protestant Reformation include John Calvin, Huldrych Zwingli, and John Knox, who contributed to the theological and ecclesiastical developments that led to the formation of various Protestant denominations. Protestantism encompasses a wide range of denominations and theological perspectives, including Lutheran, Reformed, Anglican, Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, and many others, each with its own history and theological distinctives.